Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. I do thank and praise God for another time for us to meet in this uh, forum called Wisdom and Wonder in God's Word. Thank God for just keeping us to behold this day and all of his blessings that we are enjoying today. Thank God for everybody who's able to join us, and I encourage and ask if we would please uh, share with other folk, encourage other folk to join in with us um, for this um, time of sharing in the Word of God. Amen. And the Word of God is always intended to help us and to leave us better than we than it meets us. Amen. It's always intended to, to leave us better than it meets us. So um, I'm just believing the Lord today to um, to bless this time of sharing. Amen. That this be an anointed session. Any plan, trick, or trap with the enemy to distort or to interfere in any way uh, be rendered null and void right now in the name of Jesus. We plead the blood of Jesus against anything that would hurt or harm or interfere with the transmission, uh, the deliverance, and the reception of the Word of God through this means today. So glad we're all here. Happy for all who will be joining us. Let's have a word of prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, we do thank you for this beautiful Wednesday. Thank you for your loving kindness and all your tender mercies, God. Thank you. Oh, God, thank you for just allowing us to join together one more time. Oh, God, I thank you for how you keep us, Lord, for how you stabilize us, for how you establish us, Lord, for how you set our feet upon the rock, God. In the name of Jesus, and we thank you, Lord, that in spite of the winds blowing and the storm assailing us, um, we are able to stand only because you say so. So we take no credit in that, Lord. We take no credit for that. All the credit, all the glory, and all the honor belongs to you. Lord, had it not been for you on our side, we can't even imagine, and we don't even want to imagine, where we would be today. Oh God, but according to your grace and your mercy, Lord, we're still here. And we thank you so much for that, God. Father, in the name of Jesus, we just pray your presence and your power, your anointing on this uh, session today as we share for just a little while in your word, God. In the name of Jesus, thank you for your word because you sent your word to heal our disease. Father, in the name of Jesus. so. However, we are coming before you today. Whatever situation or conditions may be prevailing, God, we know that you have all power. And we thank you for this blessed privilege today. Have your way, God. Have your way, God. In the name of Jesus, have your way. God, we pray for more to come on and more to listen in and more to share, God. In the name of Jesus, have your way now, Lord. Um, be glorified in our lives, God. Just be glorified in our lives. We thank you for just the blessing of your presence and your power, your anointing in our lives. In Jesus' strong name, amen. Well, bless the Lord. Thank God again for this day. Amen. For this uh, first Wednesday in the month of December. Amen. And here we stand just 24 days or so uh, from the end of this year and uh, are we yet alive to see one another's faces don't know what the next 20 some days will bring amen or uh, who will be on this year's road but we just want to live so that uh, if it is any one of us uh, we are ready when he calls in the name of Jesus uh, we thank God for this uh, format for this forum uh, for this venue for just sharing his word in the name of Jesus and um, uh, we, we took a little step aside last week and just were reminded of the sufficiency of the Lord but we're back in this series rooted in Romans rooted in Romans that's the theme of the series and this is our sixth convening in that series Today we're dealing with chapter 7, Romans chapter 7, 
and we've entitled our sharing today free just the word free f-r-e-e -E. free amen and uh, Romans chapter 7 verses 1 through 23 amen the general theme amen as we seek to 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 get a grasp on Romans and and uh, it'll bless us because it, it gives us foundational truths on which our faith has to be built amen and so I thank God I thank God for all that he does I just thank him so much um, because he knows uh, in order for us to be rooted and grounded we got to get locked into his word we've got to get locked into his word uh, we can't it can't just be a feeling thing because you all know how feelings go how up and down and in and out and hot and cold feelings may be but when we're locked into the word of God that inerrant infallible uh, timeless truth of the word of God glory to God uh, we learn from this book of Romans that's why we the saints have to be rooted in Romans so that we don't get tossed about by every wind of doctrine that comes along amen uh, so we talked about um, uh, in, in chapter 6 just freedom from the grasp of sin um, and here we are in in chapter 7 and um, we're talking about freedom from the domination of sin freedom from the domination of sin freedom from the domination of the law excuse me freedom from the domination of the law freedom from the domination of the law Amen. Amen. Freedom from the domination of the law. And so there are several salient points we're going to lift uh, as he, the Lord feeds our spirits. That's what he's doing. He's feeding our spirits uh, out through his word. Amen. So we, we want to grasp these, these salient points from the seventh chapter uh, of the book of Romans as we seek to just get even more rooted and grounded in the word of God amen and, and the, the general thrust of this seventh chapter is about being free from the domination of the law free from the domination of the law here's and we begin just making this statement in this very important point the law cannot save from sin the law cannot save from from sin no one the sinner the law keeper or believer no one gets saved from sin by keeping the law amen we gotta know that and we've got to embrace that our only hope of salvation our only hope of salvation is in the finished work accomplished through the shedding of the blood of Jesus the Christ that's our only hope of salvation the finished work accomplished through the shedding of the blood of Jesus and through his blood our sin debt was paid so we by faith appropriate or access this grace uh, um, of salvation by saying yes to the finished work of the Lord um, at Calvary amen through his shed blood not Calvary plus anything else not Calvary plus works of any kind that's we are saying what can wash away my sins nothing but the blood of Jesus what can make me whole again nothing but the blood of Jesus glory to God it's really important that we are rooted and grounded in that amen now, the, the, the reality that the law cannot save doesn't make the law bad it doesn't make the law bad it just means that the law has a function but its function is not salvation 
what is the what does the law do the law reveals sin the law says what is sinful and what is not sinful this may be an oversimplification if it is forgive me but kind of like uh, speed limit signs right S speed limit signs don't keep you from speeding they just indicate what's legal and and so if we exceed them we run we run the risk of repercussions because we've ignored what the law says so we end up with a ticket we end up losing points or whatever so God's law does reveal sin it does reveal sin uh, it does reveal sin amen uh, Paul uses this uh, illustration of marriage of the marriage relationship to show our relationship to the law uh, right at the beginning in verses 2 through 6 I believe it is and I'm going to read that of Romans 7 here's what we find for the woman well, let me begin at verse 1 know ye not brethren for I speak to them that know the law how that the law hath dominion over a man as long as he liveth for the woman which hath an husband is bound by the law to her husband so long as he liveth but if the husband is be dead she is loosed from the law of her husband so then if while her husband liveth she be married to another man she shall be called an adulteress but if her husband be dead she is free from that law so that she is no adulteress though she be married to another man wherefore my brethren ye also become dead to the law by the body of Christ hallelujah that ye should be married to another even to him who is raised from the dead that ye we should bring forth fruit unto God glory to God oh man we become dead to the law by the body of Christ and because we're dead to the law we are free to uh, enter a relationship um, um, identified as marriage with Christ or to Christ for when we were in the flesh the motions of sin which were by law did work in our members to bring forth fruit unto death but now we are delivered from the law that being dead wherein we were held that we should serve in newness of spirit and not in the oldness of the latter glory to God so his law reveals sin what does the word of God say about that what shall we say then going on with verse 7 is the law sinned? God forbid. Nay, I had not known sin, but by the law. For I had not known lust, except the law had said, Thou shalt not covet. But sin, taking occasion of the commandment, wrought in me all manner of concupiscence. Without, for without the law, sin was dead. Without the law, I had no moral compass. So the law did indeed give me a moral compass. It couldn't deliver me from my wrong, but it made me aware of my wrong. For I was alive unto the law once, but when the commandment came, sin revived and I died. And the commandment which was ordained to life, I found to be unto death. For sin taketh occasion by the commandment, deceived me, and by it slew me. Wherefore the law is holy, and the commandment is holy, and just, and good. Was then that which was good made death for me? God forbid. But sin that might appear, sin worketh death in me by that which is good. The law in, isn't sin, 
or sinful but the law makes me aware of my carnality but sin that it might appear sin worketh death in me by that which is good that sin by the commandment might become exceeding sinful glory to God glory to God so the law reveals my sinfulness um, if, if I, I just earlier today earlier today I was um, uh, in a um, 40 mile per hour zone and uh, I had several things on my mind and um, I noticed as I approached this area there is there's a, a, a speed limit sign there and I looked at the speed limit sign and they had a, an attachment under it which um, would flash indicating the speed of the approaching vehicle well I was that approaching vehicle <laughs> and, and uh, when I looked um, without intention without saying I'm going to speed when I looked uh, right below this 40 mile per hour speed limit sign was this little thing flashing saying 54 I said oh man oh man Lord have mercy so I you know, took my foot off the gas and decelerated way down um, but the, 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 the law then the 40 miles an hour uh, revealed to me that I was in error alright it just it reveals sin it reveals my wrongness so Paul goes on in verses um, 14 through 25 to talk about this struggle within glory to God amen for we know that the law is spiritual but I am carnal sold unto sin yeah, this is there's this war going on it's the carnal man, the spiritual man, the carnal woman, the spiritual woman, carnal person, the spiritual person. For that which I do, I allow not. For what I would, that do I not. But what I hate, that do I. Hallelujah. Saints got to embrace this. You may not, you may hate being angry, but you still get angry. You may hate being short patient, but you still get short patient. Are, are, are we communicating? Yes, yes, yes. If then I do that which I would not, I consent unto the law that it is good. Now then it is no more I that do it, but sin that dwelleth in me. Oh my sin that dwelleth in me there's this battle there's this war Paul said in another passage of scripture daily I beat my body into subjection daily I have to decide I want to walk with him I want to fellowship with him I want to please him daily because that carnal nature will rise up at any opportunity for I know that in me that is in my flesh in my flesh dwelleth no good thing for to will is present with me but how to perform that which is good I find not in my flesh I find a desire to do good but I don't find the capacity to do good in my flesh for the good that I would I do not but the evil that I would not, that I do. Paul says, look, here's the reality. There's this struggle. I don't want to think evil, but I'll think it. I might not lab be laboring. I might not stay with it, but it'll come up. Now, if I do that, I would not. It is no more I that do it, but sin that dwelleth in me blame the carnality I find then a law that when I am when I would do good evil is present with me evil is present he did not say evil is prevalent he said evil is present 
Amen. And I believe every saint can admit. You, you may feel the unction to do the right thing, to say the right thing, to respond appropriately as the Lord would have you. But man, there's that little joker uh, or a little whatever you want to call him saying, no, I'll do this. Or, no, I wouldn't take that. Or, no, you don't take the last word. No, you got to have the last word or I wouldn't go out like that or whatever. I read again verse 20 verses 21 forward I find then a law that when I would do good evil is present with me for I delight in the law of God after the inward man but I see another law in my members I delight after the law of God after my inward man my spirit man delights after the law of God but I see another work another law in my members warring against the law of my mind and bringing me into captivity to the law of sin which is in my members there's this law that's warring against my mind or my soul how many of us get trapped by this, that, the, this mind by the soul by feelings by emotions oh wretched man that I am who shall, glory to God, who shall deliver me from this body of death? Here he wraps it up in verse 25. I thank God. Somebody say that with me. I thank God. Say it out of your belly. I thank God. I thank God. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. I thank God. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. So then, with the mind, I myself serve the law of God, but with the flesh, the law of sin. There's this struggle, this, amen? I, I, I know um, some may say, you know, well, since I got saved, there's been no struggle. Um, then that may, self righteousness might be a struggle. Being egocentric might be your, your, your struggle. Thinking you, you're cut above anybody else might be your struggle. And that's a hard one to detect and even to admit. He says, so then with my mind, I myself serve the law of God. With, in my soul, I serve the law of God. In my soul, I'm passionate about the law of God. But that carnality attacks me in the flesh and, and draws me to want to serve the law of sin that's just the struggle that's going on but I thank God 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 through Jesus Christ our Lord I thank God through Jesus Christ our Lord. So the victory we walk in, we don't walk in it because we're that strong. We don't walk in it because we're that smart. We're such smooth operators. We walk in it because of Jesus Christ our Lord. With his blood comes our daily provisions of grace and mercy. With his blood comes our daily provision of sensitivity to what's going on around us. Even if we fall, it's not because we don't have warning signs. Amen. You say somebody drove us to this, that, and the other. Um, they might have um, lighted the path, but we, we chose to go. We, 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 at some point, yielded, say, said yes to it. So, what makes me enjoy what is available by God through Jesus Christ is my being in touch with my wretchedness in the absence of the blood of Jesus. I'm free through the blood of Jesus. But I'm telling you, I got to be in touch with how wretched I am, how wretched I can be in the absence of the blood of Jesus. And I pray, I pray, I pray that that is something that we all stay uh, sensitive to. Amen. 
so the, the fact that uh, we may not fall way out of line or act way out of line or whatever doesn't mean we don't have the capacity to do it. Hallelujah. I thank God for Jesus through Jesus Christ. That's the only thing that allows me and you to stand acceptable before the Lord today. That's the shed blood of Jesus. When he looks at us, he sees the blood so he doesn't see the sin. He doesn't see the faults. He doesn't see the failures. He doesn't see the fall downs. He doesn't see the mess ups. He doesn't see the repeat offenses. He sees the blood. Hallelujah. He sees the blood. Glory to God. When the words might have not come out of my lips, but some fiery words were dancing in my mind. He sees the blood. And what, what, I, 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 if we want to enjoy this freedom, the, the subject is free. If we want to enjoy it, uh, we got to grow in our capacity when sin would tempt us to, to get in our flesh or to respond out of our flesh or to say something out of We got to, we got train, let's train ourselves uh, when we, when we want to, uh, get Satan, engage Satan at that level or in that kind of way. I'm telling you brothers and sisters what we got to say is but I thank God. Yes Satan, I, I see what you're trying to do but I thank God. I hear what you're trying to say but I thank God. I see that curveball you threw at me but I thank God. I see that temptation you put out there but I thank God. I fell for it another time, but I thank God. I thank God through Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Saints, glory to God. Glory to God. Thank God we are free. We are free. Hallelujah. Through the shed blood of Jesus at Calvary, we are free. We are free, brothers and sisters. We are free. We are free. Don't let any trick of the of the enemy. Don't let him flash, uh, do flash cards of the law. Yeah, you did that. Yeah, you did that. Yeah, you did that. Taking you way back to years and years and many situations ago. You bring up those flashcards. Uh-uh. No, 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 no. No, no, no. I see what you're trying to do, devil. But I thank God through Jesus. Yes, I do. I thank God. That when he looks at me, he sees the blood applied to my life. And that's what makes me free. I'm free because I'm blood bought. I'm free because he paid the price for me. I'm free because I was redeemed by my faith in the power of the shed blood of Jesus. I am free. Glory to God. It, say it, man. I thank God through Jesus Christ. I am free. I'm free. Free. Don't let the enemy steal that, brothers and sisters. Don't let him do it. Don't care what he come, what trick he tries to come at you with, where he tries to take you down memory lane. No, 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 no. Don't give him that kind of access. Some of us just gotta learn how to just hang the phone, hang up the phone, end the conversation. Don't try to change the conversation with the devil, because his agenda will always be steal, kill, destroy. He will not change his agenda. So you don't try to change the conversation. You end that conversation. Nah, devil. Nah, no, no. Well, God bless you. I thank God for us being together today. I really do. It means so much. Thank God for the power of the Holy Ghost to affect His Word. Glory to God to us. Uh, bring healing and bring help to those of us who are on our way to that place that Jesus went to prepare for us. 
Glory be to God. Hallelujah. You're free now. From the dominate domination of the law. Hallelujah. Let's let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for your word. Thank you for your word. Thank you for your word. You sent this powerful word, not just today, but all of your word. You sent your word to heal our disease. Thank you for healing today. Thank you for help today. In the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you everybody who listened. Thank you, Lord, for helping hearts, for encouraging hearts, for uh, reminding us that you are in control of situations in our lives, God. Thank you, God, in the name of Jesus, for all you do to help us, Lord. In the name of Jesus, thank you for the brothers and sisters you send around us to help build us up, to speak life, and to stand in the gap for us, Lord, until we our strength is renewed. Father, in the name of Jesus, have your way today, God. I pray for anybody halting between two opinions, anybody struggling with, uh, to decide within their spirits that Jesus is yet the way, the truth, and the life. I pray that you would just rise up in them, God, cause them to embrace the truth of your word. Hallelujah. I pray for our aged and aging mothers and fathers, God. I pray for the little children who may not even know what day today is. I pray for everybody else in between, God. Lord, take us by our hand and lead us on. In the name of Jesus, be glorified. We love you and we praise you and we adore you. Jesus is strong name. Amen. Hallelujah, saints. Hallelujah, saints. Hallelujah. I love everybody. Everybody. Be blessed. Stay with the Lord. No matter what's going on. Stay with the Lord. But I thank God. Through Jesus Christ. I thank God through Jesus Christ. Yes. Go on and cover yourself with that. In the name of Jesus. God bless you. Be encouraged today. Till we meet again over here, over there, sooner or later. God bless you, saints. We love you. Hallelujah. Lord, we're free today. In the name of Jesus. We're free today. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, God. You're free today in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Thank you for your people, God. Thank you for your people in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah.